Hey there, good morning. It's Natalie here. Good to see you. I haven't been live for a while and wanted to pop on here. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I started a new podcast a couple weeks ago and the latest one that I did is about exercising according to Ayurveda and your dosha in Ayurveda and your human design. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that before I head into my Orange Theory workout. So I have my my bio coffee with, um, let's see, my collagen and MCT oil in it. And that's what I drink before I go into my workouts. And one of the cool things that I discovered is that um, Orange Theory Fitness, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, um, it actually covers all of the doshas and in Ayurveda and is great for all the types. So I realize that's part of why I love it. Um, but one of the things that I really want to talk about um, that I didn't talk about on the podcast is more about the self-care side of things and how how you're actually like taking care of yourself and your own self-worth because when you do things that make you feel good and exercise in according to your Ayurvedic dosha and your human design and um, finding out ways that you are designed to work out and that honor who you are and make you feel at your best and you're not like killing yourself at some exercise that you're not designed to do, um, you actually start to get in this space of being able to really sink in and hone in on your own self-worth and your self-value. And when you start doing that, you can start showing up so much better in your life all the way around. Now. I serve and coach entrepreneurs and so a lot of us entrepreneurs work from home. Um, it doesn't matter if you work from home or you work in an office no matter where you're at along your journey. Um, but I find that those of us that work from home tend to not be as active because you know <laughs> we work in front of the computer a lot. Um, so if you work in front of the computer a lot, it's even extra important for you to get out and do things like Orange Theory. And like, I don't know if you can see it in the background. It's like, it's back there somewhere. So, um, but when you start really getting into exercising and taking care of yourself in really good ways and honoring who you are, your own viewpoint of your self-worth really starts to go up and then because of that you're not going to let other people walk all over you like you may have in the past and I, I say this from my own personal experience because I've had a lot of people walk all over me because maybe I'm too nice or whatnot but what it really was is that I didn't understand my own self-worth and my own self-value but once I really started taking care of myself more I started being able to show up in a more honoring way to both me and those that I was serving, those that I was hanging out with, um, especially with clients. And so the more that you start taking care of yourself and the more that you start seeing your own self-worth and your own self-value, the more you can start showing up for your clients, your employers, whoever it is that you are working for in a way that it's like, you know, I'm not gonna let you take advantage of me, but I'm here to help you. And so it becomes this win-win because what they're really paying for is for you to show up at your best. And in order for you to show up at your best, it is like exercise is part of it. Now I'm here in Utah and I'm gonna just like flip this around so you can see like there are some beautiful, gorgeous mountains here and my goal is to really explore these mountains. There's tons of hiking trails all over these mountains. Um, but one of the things is, um, it's, they're big mountains and I need to be in shape to climb these big mountains. So Orange Theory has helped me get in shape <laughs> to be able to climb them. Um, but in doing that, I know that it's part of my own, my own journey and getting into my own self-worth and honoring you know that whole entire process because when I'm going out and I'm work you know working out or doing things like walking in the mountains I'm getting huge breakthrough insights and they're normally 
end up being for my clients. And so if when I'm taking care of myself, I'm actually really taking care of my clients. So it becomes this really big win-win. And when I'm not taking care of myself, I'm not honoring myself or my clients. And so I, I wanna give you this perspective of, hey, when you take care of yourself, you're actually taking care of yourself so you can serve better and you can serve more productively and you can show up as your best self because that's what people actually need from you is for you to show up as your best self. So I'm going to go pop in and hey Catherine, it's good to see you. Um, I see Sunny and Catherine and Kristen and Karen. Good to see all of you. Um, so be good to yourself. Take care of yourself and really show up as your best self for you first and then you'll be able to show up for the best the best version of yourself for your clients so i'm off to go take care of myself so that i can show up and be the best version of myself so i will talk to y'all later bye